I'll pick up Tyson Fury, I'll pick up Anthony Joshua, all the in a real fight, like, they, they don't stand a chance. Yeah. And then it's like, we got, everybody's going to Boxing Bay where they're okay, but I'm like, right, we playing a little game, we could all buy, and they said, they, 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 I don't like being like, label of the MMA fight. I'm a boxer, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, I'm a kid, but I don't like any of the one-dimensional things by itself anyway. I like it all. But. Now, is this true? Giants like Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua losing to Nate Diaz. Do you think that's possible? Because we have seen small people beat large people. That's a truth in reality. And here, that's just what happens. A 5'3 fighter defeats a 6'8 man in a MMA fight. Is that a possibility in mixed martial arts if Nate Diaz were to go up against Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury? Well, they are massive and Tyson Fury actually has trained mixed martial arts with Darren Till. I think he would be able to hold his own versus Nate Diaz and with his size, there would become a huge advantage favoring him. Size does make a difference, although it is not the deciding factor. After all, there are many components that go into a fight, and technical advantage, especially one like jiu-jitsu, it holds huge favor in a fight. When it comes to martial arts, if you don't know jiu-jitsu, it can destroy you. It has a good chance of destroying you. When you don't have that knowledge advantage, it can take advantage of the blind spots in your own understanding and destroy you. Would Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury then be too big for Nate Diaz? I'd love to hear perspective in the comments below. What do you think? Is this CTE or is there some truth to what Nate Diaz is saying? I'd love to hear perspective. Thank you again. And until next time, peace.